Că Ericsson a ales deja Long Term Evolution și neagă dezvoltarea WiMAX și mi închipui că pe cale de consecință și Vodafone s-ar duce către LTE, nu către WiMAX. First of all, uh, your question about uh, what drives the, the direction of technology. Uh, the, the way we work in Waterfront Group is actually both. You know, there is a global strategy and a global roadmap of, on the technology. However, there are also very strong considerations about the local local market conditions. So Waterfront is, is a flexible company. Uh, we do make our stra uh, strategic choices to win at the local level. Uh, so technology choices fall right in to, to, to the decision-making process where we look at what it takes to win in the marketplace, what do the local customers want, and then we do our best to align it with the global strategy. So it's really collaborative work uh, at, with the local technology team and the global technology team. And that process has worked well with, uh, with us. With respect to the question on LTE and WiMAX, uh, We have been using actually pre-WiMAX technology in Romania for many years in Vodafone. Uh, that may not be well known. Uh, Vodafone is trialing WiMAX in Malta. So Vodafone has not closed off any options in terms of LTE or WiMAX. Uh, it's their, their decisions that are still need to be made going forward in the future. Uh, we are exploring both paths. Uh, one of the great advantages of LTE is that it will be backwards compatible, so all the customers who have 3G will be able to use the same devices with LTE technology. So that makes it more attractive for, uh, for operators like us because then we can provide a seamless migration to our customers, our existing customers. Uh, you know, both technologies have quite a few similarities, so there isn't that big a difference. But we will make the time, uh, make the decision when the time is right on WiMAX or LTE. Right now, we are very much focused on just giving great experience with our technology that we have today, the HSDPA, and which is working really well. And uh, I encourage you guys to try it. De ce este folosit atât de puțin video telefonia în România și până Europa în genere? Why is the video call, the video telephony, uh, used? Why isn't it used more in Romania and in Europe? What is your view in terms of the demand and... Well, I think it's uh, primarily driven by two things. Uh, number one, the penetration of video uh, telephone capable phones. So, one, you know, one party may have the phone, but then the person you're calling also needs to have a phone that's capable of supporting video telephony. And there hasn't been enough penetration of it uh, so far, but which it is developing, so I think it will increase. And I think the second thing is just that the person's desire to actually be seen. Uh, generally speaking, most black people like to see the other party, but they don't like to be seen. So uh, I think you have to find a way to overcome that. But I think uh, other than those two reasons, there is no, no reason I can think of. And I what think. is the reason uh, for Asia? To, to have uh, such uh, this uh, development of uh, video telephone. Japan, Japan and uh, Korea. Uh, basically, I think it's a, you know, like I say that there is a cultural aspect. Uh, so the social acceptance of uh, such technology is higher in a place like Japan, and uh, the penetration of uh, mobiles uh, that can support this sort of functionality is much higher in those countries uh, because of those two reasons.